surgery over at Barnes Jewish. Uh, this is all about laparoscopic surgery, which is operating through those tiny little holes with the big sticks that we shove into them. Laparoscopic surgery has only been around for about the last 20, 30 years, and it is becoming increasingly popular. As you can see, a huge proportion of surgery that we do is laparoscopic. The big keystone element to laparoscopic surgery is make it as much like open surgery as you can. That's been the principle from day one of laparoscopic surgery. But we fail in that in one huge, huge regard. And that's not tying, putting things back together, including a vessel. Laparoscopic knot tying is really hard to do. It takes a long time. Attending surgeons, guys who've been at this for 20, 30 years, residents can still take five minutes to tie a single knot. But you can imagine when you're trying to do surgery and it takes you five minutes to do a single knot, you start cheating. You start coming up with other ways to push tissue together. And people have. This recognized problem's got all types of solutions to it, whether it's barbed sutures or whether or not it's clips. But all of these are not a knot. When we do the surgery open, we use a knot because it's better than any of this stuff. So we want to go back to the basics. Let's use a knot. So our idea is to perform these knots. However, laparoscopically, tying a knot's really hard to do. You have to form these complex loops, string it through, and then pull the actual suture. So why don't we just make those loops already there? So what we did was use nickel, titanium, nitinol, and that suture tail holds the form of those loops already. So first we go ahead and look at what a knot looks like. We designed our loops in CAD, and then this is one iteration of what we've actually been able to make already. So we've got our product, which, now does it work? This suture material can be bent in and out, over and over and over again to make as many throws of a knot that you need, and then you can actually see it looped through, forming a knot. So these knots work, our product works, and in fact, it's super easy to make. Our manufacturing costs for a single prototype were $10. Here, all we had to use was a dental furnace. Every time I open it, I'm terrified I'm gonna see teeth. <laughs> in fact, when we look at this, our market size, what we could potentially do with this product is gigantic. Looking, there's over 260,000 procedures that still use knot time. There's 1. million that should be using knots, but they don't. And the reason that they don't is because knot tying is just too darn hard. And really, anyone could be using knots in a laparoscopic surgery, which would be over 3.5 million cases a year. This is gonna save us time. When we've done our testing, we've been able to throw knots much quicker than we were able to do without our product. And about half to one third the amount. This could save a lot of time in the OR, which is about 15 to 20 dollars per minute. Not to mention, it's actually harder on a patient to be under anesthesia for that much longer. In addition, all those existing alternatives that I put up before, the clips, the barbed sutures, are really expensive. If our product was only $10, we'd have the advantage of saving $83 per surgery. That's a huge cost savings in our market. So what do we have? Well, right now we have a viable product. It actually works. It actually ties knots laparoscopically better than anything else out there. We've got compelling data. When we've had our residents using this product, they're able to tie knots much, much faster. And then, of course, we started applying it to some of the actual conferences, which we've been accepted to, to present our data to show how much better our product is than what's currently out there. And we've got expert testimony. Pretty much everyone we mention this to wants to try it. In fact, just come back to our booth and give it a shot. You can tie a knot faster than most attending surgeons are doing it without a problem. We've got a team to do it. First on the list here, we've got Remy Walk. She's our biomedical engineering PhD. I asked her if she could do 100,000 of these right before we took the picture, so that's her face. We've got Ryan Harbison, this is an MBA candidate. He's gonna be able to make sure the business side of things go. Of course, myself and Steve Monda, our medical students and Nadar Kazam, another one of our medical students, helping us out with this project. 
But another part of our team is you guys. Join us, come back, get some data. Show us how long does it take for you to tie a knot, and then how long does it take for you to tie a knot with our product. Our next steps is just that. Testing, testing, and more testing. Because the regulatory components of this is not gonna be difficult. We're all just gonna be able to do a 5, 10K. Nitinol is already used in the body. Suture is already used in the body. Needles are already used in the body. We do have our patent pending intellectual property with the provisional patent already filed, but we do need more patent searches, making sure there's no one else with anything similar, though admittedly we haven't found anything so far. But our exit strategy is not to make some multi-billion dollar suture manufacturing company. Our exit strategy is to license. Get Ethicon, Covidian, Boston Scientific. All of these companies are already making a lot of suture, and I think that they can use our idea to start making it a lot better. Anyways, thanks.